It's safe to say that I appreciate good design and build quality in a backpack more than most people I know. So when Boundary Supply reached out to me and asked if I wanted to check out their new lineup, I was really happy. This is the second time a company has sent me stuff for a YouTube video, and I'm so happy that they're willing to sponsor a small creator like myself. And I'm also really grateful for all the support you viewers have given me over the past year of making YouTube videos. In any case, Boundary Supply didn't tell me what to talk about, so this will in no way impact my review. However, they did send me these bags, so I'm not sure how much that would subconsciously impact me, considering I didn't pay for them. So keep that in mind. I've already reviewed the Renan Day Pack, so that video will be linked down below. But today I'm going to be checking out this little sling bag. The sling also belongs to the Renan Recycle series. This means the bag is made from more sustainable materials compared to what most other manufacturers use. Boundary Supply has always been very aware of their environmental impacts, and it's nice to see that they're willing to reduce their carbon footprint. At first I didn't think this little sling bag would be very useful for me, as I always carry a lot of gear with me, but I found that it's very handy in conjunction with a normal day pack. It's also very handy for travelling, or as a cyclist, as you can keep your sunglasses and some snacks in there. In my case a uh, passport or ID when I cross the border to Germany. It's a lot smaller than the Arclight Sling and it looks more like a hip bag. You could definitely use it in that way but I personally prefer it over one shoulder. The build quality is excellent as always and it ships in three different colours. I received the obsidian black one. The back panel and straps are not padded but I honestly don't think it needs any. The clip at the front is very rugged and large, making it easy to open. And on the belt itself there are some belt guides to keep the excess strap from flapping about. Now that might seem like a small detail, but it might surprise you how annoying it can be if there aren't any. On the ends of the strap you'll find some nylon loops that you can attach a carabiner onto or something else. Boundary always adds these kinds of loops so you have some customizational options. The rest of the bag is pretty simple. You have uh, two pockets, both held shut with a storm guard zipper for waterproofing. One at the back, which is very handy for keeping valuables like money or a passport. And then the main compartment, which has its own zippered pocket inside. And two pockets on the back panel that don't have any closure system. The zippered pocket is just large enough for my sunglasses, but some sunglasses might be a little too large. Here are the dimensions so you can check if yours will fit. I have yet to find a good use for the two pockets at the back, but I'm sure you will know what you're going to use them for. So overall I think it's a great piece of kit, although the price point is a little high at 72 euros and 92 euros for the expat variant. But I could still recommend it if you have a very specific use case and are planning to use it every day. Anyway, that was it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope it was helpful. If it was, please consider subscribing or liking the video. And maybe I'll see you next time.